guys, it's Tamara, your dating and relationship coach at True Connection with one of my dating stories. This is a holiday one. I'm in a new relationship and he wanted to move really quickly. We've only been together like a month and a half before December rolls around. We're having a great time just anticipating the holidays and shopping for our loved ones and talking about family and he kept talking about his kids and my kids and he wanted to start some traditions with his kids and my kids and it was honestly it was way too soon for any of that for me so I was just kind of open to listening to what he had in mind and some of it sounded okay so I went along with it so for instance like um you know we're both divorced obviously with children so he wanted to buy stocking holders for his kids and he one of the red flags was that he kept saying a lot of things and not doing hardly any of them so saying something doing something different big red flag so one of the things was I want to get stockings for my kids okay got online finally and ordered the stockings then wanted stocking holders okay so every time we were out i would you know remind him did you want to look for stocking holders what do you want to do because these things tend to sell out and whatever never did it <clears throat> then was talking about buying gifts for my kids which again too soon my kids had met him once and it was in passing so this we did not need to do this um and his children are grown and out of the house so does then does that mean that i need to get gifts for his kids well of course it does but then how is that going to work because another part of the problem was he kept saying we were going to get the family together and the kids together and we were going to celebrate well no celebration was ever created but in the meantime he kept putting filling my head with all these happy expectations i want you to meet my family i want you to meet my kids and i'm going to buy gifts for your kids we're out shopping and we're talking about, you know, things he could get my kids. And, you know, he wanted me to let the kids know that they were going to be getting gifts from him. And so my kids got all excited about, you know, getting gifts from him, but then also giving him gifts in return. Because in our family, you know, just like I kept saying in the 10 blogs I wrote for you guys, like gift giving is about something personal. So then that makes it fun to buy or make something for someone because you're thinking of them and you're excited about them and they don't know him very well. So it was a little awkward and like I said, too soon, but it's still fun. You get into the spirit of giving or making something right. So my kids, you know, went out and um, created things or made him cookies because that's one of his favorite things. And um, he was talking about buying things for my kids. And so he kept saying from the beginning of December, like we kept, we're going to get together really soon with my kids and celebrate in early December. Well, I would ask and ask and ask and that never happened. So I've got, I'm driving around with gifts in my car for his kids the entire month of December. You guys, it was embarrassing. We never had a Christmas celebration ever. Luckily, I was smart enough for to keep, the gifts for his kids a secret so his kids didn't have any expectations of getting something from me but unfortunately he had told my kids they were getting gifts from him and they were excited because he had told them what they were i think and i think that might have been why they were so excited because they were both things that they that they really wanted well guess what he never gave them the gifts so not only was this a long confusing month for me and a lot of words and actions not matching but he hurt my kids I mean, you don't keep promising people things when you don't. I mean, this is Kids 101, you guys. You never, ever promise a child something if you can't deliver it or you're not certain that you plan to deliver it, right? Plans didn't just magically change. The plans were never made in the first place. That's just wrong and mean. And guess how many reasons I needed to break up with this guy? I mean, <laughs> Okay, you guys, there's endless reasons. I don't make, mean to make this sound like this was about the gifts, but the dishonesty, the false expectations, making promises he never planned on keeping, and then the manipulation with the gifts to try to get my kids to like them and then not giving them to them. Did he ever buy them in the first place? I don't know. I mean, he talked a lot about it. And unfortunately, you know, my children were wrapped up in what became the madness of December, the madness of the holidays. And 
none of the get togethers that he promised between other family and his kids and my kids and getting everybody together. I mean, there was never one plan made for that. Why in the world would he tell me that he wants us to all meet and get together and make a big deal out of the holidays? A, when it's too soon, and B, when he never planned on doing it. I don't know what his intentions were, but guess what? I don't care because I only date people that are themselves, they're authentic, they're honest, and they're willing to just talk things through with me and tell me really what they're thinking. I mean, the holidays, you guys, tip for this video is think through the holidays together. Don't make isolated plans and then see how it goes. Make plans together. Here's what I need. Here's what my expectations are. This is what this time of year means to me. And then together you create something new and special. You compromise, you do the things that both, you know, if your favorite thing is baking cookies and the other person's favorite thing is a tree and the other person's favorite thing is ice skating, you know, there's a way to do all those things. So just talk about the hard things or the family things or what scares you or what is sad for you about the holidays too because the holidays aren't all happiness, right? There's a lot of emotions involved in the holidays. Just make sure that you don't create problems by trying to anticipate someone else's expectations. Talk about it openly. If you want to set a budget together or if you want to you know, talk about when you're going to celebrate. You want to make those plans and then make sure you're on the same page because it's really hard the first year or two when you're with someone new to really know what to, how to spend, how many gifts, what to do. Like, <laughs> especially if you're in different places financially, that can be tricky too. So hence my 10 gift blogs because I don't want you to feel like I was put in a position to have to feel in this situation like I had to overspend because he kept exaggerating what he was getting me and that put pressure on me and then that never happened and so then he kind of you know made a fool out of me so anyway happy holidays guys just make them happy by being true to you and true to your relationship contact me anytime at true-connection.net happy holidays guys